Hi and welcome to this Photoshop tutorial. I thought what we'd do is have a go at making a sky look like it's had a 10 stop filter on it. Um, so I've picked this um, shot of Clarence Dock uh, which I took a few years ago. No I didn't, I took it last year actually. And um, let's let's have a go. So first off I'm going to select the sky. Just the sky, I don't want anything else particularly. So I'm using the quick select tool. Just chuck it on there. And now I'm going to press the Alt key and go around and just try and get these edges as good as we can. So you can see it's overlapped onto this bit of roof here. There we go. And then the best thing in the world ever is Refine Edge. So we can see there the bits that Photoshop's got and which it hasn't got. So we don't really want it to pick up those bits on the edge there. Um, and we'll just do a smart radius so it can work out. The idea is we're going to select the sky, basically. I'm showing you the theory rather than the actual, you know, how you'd probably take a lot more time over it than this. But okay, you selected the sky there, you've done a refine edge, you've got something fairly nice. Hit OK. <coughs> So that, when that finishes, right. So what we'll do now is we'll copy that, press Control C, paste it, and you see it creates a new layer with the sky on it. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna right click on this and go, whoops, select pixels where is it if you, if you right click on the actual layer select pixels that brings our selection back up control shift and i inverts the selection and that's now selected so i'm going to get a copy of this lower part from the background and paste that in see and put that on top so now if you look at it we've got the sky and the bottom separate. I'm leaving the background there just in case we need to do any retouching work at a later stage. So how do we get the 10 stop filter look? Well let's go to image, no let's not, let's go to filter, blur and it will be a motion blur. Okay so that's blurred a long way hasn't it? So let's, it depends which way you want it to blur really, I mean, I, you can spin this little thing around, it gives you different directions, um, blowing left to right, or right to left maybe, um, let's just give it a little bit more, you can see how we're getting problems down here, so we might have to fill these gaps in somehow with a bit of retouching, but there we go. So now if we put the background back in, see it's a good job I didn't get rid of that, isn't it really? Um, get rid of that. See the top layer is stopping the blur going onto the buildings, that's why I copied that. The blur layer is covering up most of the sky and yeah the background is covering up these bits down here. So it's, obviously it's not perfect but that's a sort of a quick two minute tutorial on how to how to do it you could probably do a, a lot better if you spent a bit more time uh, but it selects the bit you want to blur copy it create a new layer and then create the bit you don't want to blur put that as a new layer as well and then blur the layer blur layer you want and bingo there you go okay